You can come closer. But if you want to be in the seat, don't. Okay. You can can't take this chair. Empty this chair. Is this that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you, you can just rest down on the counter in the kitchen. Yes, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You come closer, baby. Let me get the chair for you. Yeah, give my daughter a little time. She's the camera woman for today. So she's just getting right. Oh, yeah, perfect. There you go. There you go, baby. And you got the dog following me. Look at you. There you go. Keep it right there. Let me see. She needs a backup. Okay. I'm waiting on you, sir. So you can catch socks sometimes. Catch stop. Okay. There you go. Go. You gotta catch them off and on so they know. Hey, BJ. Young fuck. Yes. So we over here. We talking about scholarship. We talking. Oh, you live now? Yeah. I'm trying to go live. We talking about scholarship. We talking about debates. We don't talk. We just divine prospect is one of the people he brought up. You know, we gonna show these people some love today and say their name. <laughs> you know, we're we going to deal with the history, you know, of, of why I won't debate certain people at this particular moment in time, and the credit that I will extend to people when it's due, you know, so he, he had brought up two people in particular, we're going to get into that, just waiting for him, right now. Waiting for him right now. We gonna get it. In. Okay, we we live, brother. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, remember if it stops, let me know. I'm gonna let you know what to press. Okay. Okay. All right, let's get it, man. Let's get it. You should do it. Uh, as YouTube. No. I know. It's all good. Yeah. Tap. Okay. It's a tap to invite the viewers to be in the broadcast. How do you do that? I don't got that. I, I got a fan page. So. Oh, so I can just tap it and they what? They come in? I guess. Follow instructions. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, yeah. Mine's don't say that. Yeah, see, this is new shit. This the new joint I got. I told you, man. You gotta get stuff? The, I don't know. I you gotta get the new phone. I think you probably use it. Up. See how my joint look? Look, I'm telling you. See how it look? But there's a difference between a regular page and a fan page. Yeah, I, got, I don't got a regular page. Oh. Okay, y'all just gotta get it. I need 20,000 people on my page. They want to Okay, yeah, so brother, um, yeah. did you um, <laughs> did you see the joint with Divine Prospect and would you sit with him? Because now he's on this rampage to really want to bang on the um, the Nuwapians. So now that you are no longer a Nuwapian member, I think he feels safe. Will you still come out and challenge him on some of the information? Well, I tell you this. Um, not in the name of being in lobby. And at this particular moment in time, as we discussed prior, what happened the last time we encountered each other? Did people say for me to stop beating up on that boy? Right or wrong? Yeah, yeah that's true. And people felt bad for him. People were actually mad at me the last time I dealt with him. And he looked so deflated <laughs> and out of energy. Like he wanted to cry? Yeah, he did look like he wanted to cry. Facts. Uh -huh. He did look like he wanted to cry. And... But I think he had grown since then. I would believe that. I yeah. mean, most people do after stuff like that. There's only two things that can happen. Like 50 said, oh, you get in this insensitive space right now. You know, and, I, and that's okay. But uh, I have nothing to do with his particular path at this moment in time. Because on several occasions, he was given an opportunity for him and I to really look like this is what we need to do. And at Kimmet on trial, another occasion... He aligned himself with people who didn't even give him the opportunity to speak when, honestly, he should have spoke as hold much on, as the Zion Lex. Shout out to my man, Nature Boy, man. Shout out to my brother, Nature Boy. Yo, um, hit me up, Nature, so we can do an interview. You ever heard of Nature Boy? I think so. Nature Boy, when he first came here with Pharaoh, when they first sat down here, he's out there living in nature. Well, okay, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know... Yeah, he's out there living in nature. <laughs> um, I think I know about the guy that Pharaoh was under him or something. That began. No, no, no. Um, him and Pharaoh, when Pharaoh first came to the house of consciousness, he was with that guy. He was with him. He was with my brother. That. He was with Brother Nature Boy. Oh, I thought so, he, you know, he got his teachings from Nature Boy. Oh, Nature got it from him. Well, you know what? They both gone. I think 
Pharaoh learned some shit from Nature Boy. I can see it in there. And, you know, it was I, like I, both I, I, of them. So, yeah, you got to know who Nature Boy is, bro. He go on, he's, he streams all the time on Facebook as well. Oh, and I'm he got his own community out there. Wherever he's at, I don't know if he's in Mexico this time. I don't know where he's at. Oh, that's what's up. But he's got his own community. And sounds, he's, sounds good that the yeah, brothers are yeah. not being limited to American jurisdiction. Yeah, if you see him, bro, you're a, I'm going to show you one of his videos. Okay, that's I good. mean, he's out there. He go out there. That's good. You know, that's good he's outside of the box, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, yeah. if he's teaching the people and he's organizing on a scale past just being on YouTube... Then salute to the brother. And he's in the jungle, Mexico, right now. You see him? He's in. Oh no, he's in my own joint. But yeah, he's in. <laughs> he's in the jungle in Mexico right now. Man, that's good to hear. Sounds so good. I think that'll be a powerful build with y'all two. Okay, I will. I'll look him up. Yeah, look that him up, good. Nature Boy. Nature Boy. I, that sounds good. Though. I probably am familiar, but I probably just gotta look at him. You know, okay. take a look at. Him. You know, but respect to the brother. You know, if he's doing yeah. what he's gotta do, respect to him, especially if he organizes it. Gotta always. Yo, Nature, him. hit me up, man. We gotta do something, bro. You're ready. So yeah, as far as um, you well, again, Bert, Divine came in on trial. What was that? How how long how long did he speak? And what did he speak about? I Do you think he remember? spoke for about a good maybe fifteen minutes. Do you remember what he talked about? No, not that. I, you see, what I'm saying and that's a problem because with a memory like mine, I should remember what he talked about. Uh huh. Do you remember what Zion talked about? That that debate? Zion didn't speak. No wonder we don't remember what he said either. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, these were the two. I know what Hashal talked about. Yeah, he talked about my Giuseppe's and my Yankee fit. Right. This is what the this is what the uh, Hebrews had to offer us, and and then they elected for divine to speak lesser time, and divine aligns himself with people who wouldn't give him enough respect and credibility to the information he could have loaned them to, I wouldn't say persevere but do a better job. So there were several opportunities, and what happens over time, different circumstances are created where it doesn't even suffice. It. The build up and the hype ain't there. Like, who's going to be excited about divine and polite like it would have been prior when they just said, after that last communication with him, we're going to leave him alone? He said, Nature Boy said he want to build with you about um, about money being your God. Oh, that's crazy. That's what he want to build about. He want to build I about money being your God. Maybe you do you still straight. Do you still feel today that money is your God? Absolutely. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, I, well, well, hold on. Money, my religion. Let's do this he, right way. Nature Boy said he had to slow down. Now. The hold sun on. is his God. The sun. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, money's my religion. Let's put that right. Okay. Money's my religion. The black woman is my God. Okay, say he hit you. Okay. Money's my religion. The black woman is my God. Let's get it right. We can keep saying money's my God. Money's my religion. All right. You hear that, Nature? Okay. You hear it, Nature? Yeah, money's my religion. I, I got to make sure we don't mess this thing up now. All right. Okay, so I don't have a problem with that. If he's okay and comfortable with me uh, establishing money as my religion, I'm okay with having a conversation on, on your voucher that he's a good brother, brother Sonetta. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. So, Nature yeah. boy, a good brother, man. Yeah, That's my I, man. And, right and I don't mind if the son is his guy. It sounds sounds like a practical idea. I'm down with practicality. But in my religion, the black woman is God. Okay, mm -hmm. because money's our religion, and the day and time that we in, we have to facilitate a means to which end. We you know, when we dealing with the knowledge, <clears throat> I think I think you and Nature Boy will have some powerful information coming out together. I'm telling you, Nature Boy is powerful when it's dealing with the mind. And all the crazy stuff that people try to say, no doubt. when you deal with the it's information, when you deal with the knowledge, Nature Boy got some fire. He got fire. Yeah, he got some fire. I don't mind. Going he say look. things that's outside of the box. You know what I'm saying? We go blind debate. We yeah. go on a blind debate. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll pick up whatever I can pick up from him, and whenever you're ready to do a live stream, we can have a great discussion. So we keep it respectful. Yeah, yeah, he, he you know, keeps so it respectful. If he's a respectful brother, I'm down with, with great dialogue if it empower and impact the people. We just talk about perspectives at the end of the day. The black woman and the black man is God together, positive and negative charge. Who's talking that talk? That's um, Nature Boy. Okay, I mean, positive <laughs> and negative charge? Yeah, that's Nature Boy right there. That's, that's a nice thing to say. I, I wouldn't exactly identify it like that, but it's okay. You know, but the black woman is my God. You see, you see, I speak specifically. So you see when I say money's my religion and the black woman is my God, you uh -huh. see how that works? It mm -hmm. keeps me in a nice space. And then now what I would do is proselytize, okay, or I would suggest to other people to perhaps consider making the black woman their God as well. 
for X amount of reasons. So, you know, I preface my statements a certain way so I don't come off as too romantic with it. I don't want to romanticize. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, money is my religion, the black woman is my God. And I would like to impart wisdom about my religion to other people who don't understand it. That's what I want to do. So, and, go ahead and do and, it. I, and I'm pretty sure, well, I'll wait until this time to debate him. But um, I'm pretty sure that when I'm done, he may want to reconsider maybe uh, the acquisition of this religion versus what he may already have established for himself. If anything, he probably could share some of these ideas that some of the people that he's done with. But the black woman most certainly should be considered God to people who share similar grievances as I that come from this, or part of the same demographic. That's what I'm gonna say. Being a part of the demographic I'm from, or come from, I should say, mm -hmm. I believe it's a catalyst to which it can bring about change for our community because we'd be driven by certain social political circumstances that will then suggest to us what needs to be done in real time. And then when those things change, then maybe we can transition to the sun, right? But, you know, we're going to wake up every day and inevitably we're going to see the sun for the most part. Uh, the black woman's condition inevitably is indefinite until pending. <laughs> change, social change. And her condition ultimately dictates to us our condition. She is the way she is because we are the way we are. A wise man said that. That's not even my, my words. You know who said that, right, Sam? Mm -hmm. She is the way she is because we are the sun experiencing <coughs> itself, itself subjectively. Okay, so that's what he's saying so right now. If we if we are the sun, then we are the gods that he's worshiping, and that that sounds cool. Okay, we are the sun, but you know I'm talking about that ball of gas over there that goes through 554 million tons of hydrogen that transitions to 550 million tons of helium with the other 4 million tons get hurled off into space and get caught into elliptical orbit. That means that it goes to circular motions, but it's actually oval, and it cools off and becomes celestial body, which tells us that the sun is responsible for creating anything that exists outside of it. All right? So I know what you're talking about. I'm just uh -oh, saying. Uh-oh, you ready for this boy? Come on, man. So, I mean, it's the sound. We could be children of the sun, so to speak, but right. we're not actually the sun. We know this. But it's okay. We could do it. I don't mind. We have a solar plexus, right? That may be... The sun is not gas, though, polite. And someone gassed you up. Because, <laughs> because those things that you call rays from the sun is hydrogen. That's right. And that's what promotes consciousness. This is a fact. You, you go to chemistry. No, is it hot? Well, I'll tell you this. It becomes hot by the time it enters this Earth's atmosphere. I don't mind. This is not the... No, nah, I don't mind. This is good conversation to start up because you're going to run out of gas. The same gas you're talking about, you're going to run out of gas. Well, no, that's not nature boy saying that. That's somebody else saying oh, that. Oh, well, good, because I was say sun's going to run out of gas. But this is good, so you can kind of get a perspective of what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's cold energy. Yeah, but I don't know why someone would feel it necessary to bring up if it's hot or cold. They're going to start sending us any and everywhere. Are we still good, baby? Yeah. That's It don't even do that when I got it. It always be stopping when I got it. That's good. It does do now, that. I just resumed the sun. it. Nature boy. Oh, you just press resume? Yeah. Nature boy. Oh, good. You got it. You know how to do it. Nature boy. The earth is the sun. The earth is the sun. Uh -huh. And the sun is also the sun at the same time. The earth is the sun. And the sun is the sun. Is the sun. Make them call in. This is getting kind of weird. Now, you see, this is what I mean by the spook stuff. Do you consider this like spooky teachings or maybe it may be a higher metaphysics? Uh, I would say this. Before we communicate, we have to have an understanding about what exactly we're going to be talking about in what realm. So, if we're going to just say we want to get philosophical about what we're doing, then there's a certain pass for some of the things he may say, right? But if we just want to make statements like, the earth is the sun, and then Polite is going to ask if the earth is the sun, is the sun still the sun? Because if there's two types of suns, we might as well call this sun earth. And if this type of sun is called earth, then it doesn't suffice to call it the sun, we might as well call it earth. That's the kind of conversation I'm going to want to get into, and then someone's going to say, I'm playing some manager. So I just need to know, what kind of conversation are we going to have? Are we having a scientific conversation? Are we uh, philosophizing? Are we making analogies about things based on how we want it to be or based on our own meanings? Is this about interpretation? Is it about interpolation? Then I'll know how to appreciate a conversation, or I'll decline to even have it because I would say there's too much space or room for us to make up things. That All right, essence. hold on. I'm going to press time. All right, um, Nature Boy. I'm on my phone right now, so you ain't gonna be able to call in. So what I'm gonna do, Nature Boy, is I'm gonna give you the number, and I want you to. I'm gonna direct you to go to Polite page. What's the name of your page? Uh, Facebook. Brother Polite. Yeah, Brother Polite. Go to P O L I G H T. Go to Brother Polite Facebook. He's live right now, 
And what I'm going to do is give you the number where you can call in, Nature. And then you can call in, but you can be watching it on Polite's Facebook. So here's the number. I'm going to give you this number. Yeah, just keep yours on until he calls. Um, Since he's already watching it. damn. Why well, I can't text in my phone? Why can't on. I text? Help him out, I mean, He's supposed to be with how do I text? Oh, I'm that. IPhone. Oh yeah, we don't really. <laughs> I mean, that don't know either. Africa. Yeah, we need some assistance. Africa but yeah, family, in. hold on, keep it right there, baby. Let me see how we looking. Yeah, ask Africa. Okay, no, 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 Africa ain't gonna know. This is different. On Facebook. This right How do I? How do I text, man? Text for me on Facebook. I'm live right now. Yes. So wow. So now you get some technical assistance. So I swear, nobody don't know nothing but <laughs> <laughs> No, see, this is different. I'm we, trying to tell you. We talking to the next generation. My baby all right, teaching me all sorts Don't worry about it, mama. So just, oh, you, just tell them the number. Online. All right, the number is. What's the number, Sal? All right, he asked me the number. 347. 347, my brother. The number is 347. Can you put it in there? Can you text? Yeah. Oh no, that's another one. That's yeah. a different Facebook. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Three, four, seven. Yes. We're gonna see if we can get the brother on who said that the earth is a sun. Or is is the sun. And then polite's question is if the earth is the sun, then is the sun the sun still? Because the the Hold on, man, you're breaking my concentration. Right. Those are definite <laughs> The number is three four seven six seven zero. Six seven zero. <laughs> zero zero one seven. 0017 nature. Did he get it? Let him confirm. Confirm you got it, man. <clears throat> oh, oh, I confirm it, actually, right? Because I'm going to hook this joint up. This is going to be good right here. <laughs> what, you going live now? No. Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to make it where he can hit it. Okay. Cause I'm sick. Put on the speech. I got it. Oh, oh, man. Oh, no. Damn. What I tell you about that relaxed stuff? I am relaxed. Okay. Let me change the rest of this. I'm sorry, y'all, y'all waiting, but it's gonna be good. I'm gonna retitle yeah. it. It's gonna be real good. Nature, did you get the number? Yeah. Yes, that's the number, Nature. We we'll call it polite versus nature. Polite. That's the number. That'd be interesting. I think y'all like it. Should I stop it, y'all, and then start it over and call it polite versus nature, boy? <laughs> nah, nah, they get it. <laughs> Nature Boy is good, man, for like. He's good, ain't nobody good at me, though. Like the closest someone could come to me is at eye level. Uh, you have to be pretty tall to do that. Uh, this is water, sir. It's okay, it's what I'm doing. You got a little on top of it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just drink the rest of this because you ain't got to worry. <laughs> Come on, Nature, where you at? You ain't calling yet? I hope you got it up on the day. I did. Give me a napkin, though. Oh, nothing, mind, no. Yeah, you need one for the counter. I need one for my hand, too. Oh, you need Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, hold on, real quick. Peace, peace. What's up? Hold on, family. Don't control all that. So if he's, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I already know. We, he got a big following, so I already know how it go. Yeah. So I'm sorry about that, brother. I don't know, but um, you know, I'm looking at some of the comments on my Facebook briefly. So they have a lot to say about you, but I, I, I can't say nothing because I'm just encountering you for the first time. I'm just going to judge you based on the merit of your conversation at this particular point. I don't deal with all the speculation. So I was like, you know, that this is uh, not no slick stuff going on. I'm just going to build with you on the merit of a good build because it's so spontaneous. And hopefully we just have... Well, I appreciate it because I've been wanting to, I, I've been wanting to build with you. You know, I've been wanting to build with all of y'all, but, you know, I left the country. I left the country. I got you. I got you. I got you. The reason money is your religion and the black woman is your God. Okay, and well, what I said was, and what I said was, um, no, nah, man, the black woman and man is God, and yeah. that's negative and positive charge. That's negative and positive charge, and the son is our God. 
That's and nature is our religion, not money. Nature, nature is our religion. Nature is our religion. All of the elements and everything that sustains our life is our God. We have many gods. But the, but the main source of our God is our higher self, which is the very thing that we are, which is the sun. The air that you breathe. We got we got we got three we in three forms right now. We got breath, we got bone, and we got blood. Your blood comes from your 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 bones come from the sun. Your 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 blood comes from your bones. And your breath comes from your blood. And your breath comes from your blood. So we threefold we threefold carbon. You understand? And those forms, solid, liquid, and gas. And so we are the sun. We are living, breathing souls. Do you understand that? Yeah, I hear you. So I was I was I, I wanted to say that to you so much, so bad every time I was in love, I'm like, yo, money can't be our God. It can't be our God. Money is our devil because money replaces our morals. When, when we, we were a civil people in tune with nature, when we didn't need money, on the, on the dollar bill is, and God we trust, right? Where you, where you get these Which, ideas? And, and, and basically, no, no, listen to what I'm saying, and God we trust, right? No, no, before, Those you, are the before, you, before you go to and God we trust, what? what's that stuff you were saying about money uh, just not too long ago? What you were saying? What you were saying about money? Yeah, money. You you said you said money is. You said money is evil. Money is that money is money is e the money is the evil. Okay. Money is Hold used on. against us. Okay, no problem. And then, as a people. No problem. And then just to be clear. You All right. So and then, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Uh, no, but one, polite. One quick question. Before. I admire your work. Thank you, brother. I, I just want to say this real quick. I admire your work. I, I follow you online. You ain't gonna put I, me to I sleep, appreciate brother. what you did for the kids. Oh, Listen. Yeah. You hear me? Yes, I'm listening, brother. I appreciate what you're doing for the community, for where you at. I appreciate your accolades and everything that you achieved from where you came from. I heard your life story. Thank you, I admire bro. everything that you do and where you where you have reached, and I admire your mind. But I don't want to make you think that I'm an enemy because oh, no, I, I do. I do. I no. I'm just saying to you. I'm not coming at shit neck. I'm letting you know I admire your intelligence. I feel like your intelligence is headed in the wrong way, in the wrong direction. That's my opinion. That's just my perspective. No, I appreciate and I would like to build you about that. Man, thank you for being my brother, because I respect a brother to do that. Okay, so this is my two. I'm going to have you keep building. I just want to make sure I understand that. I want to make sure that according to you, money is evil and we didn't use to use money. Is this correct? Yeah, we never use money. Okay. We didn't have to use money. Yeah, we get We, we use morals. We, have, we, we didn't have to use money. We had morals. Morals so, is the, the only... Thing that we need for trade in a society and a civilization, morals is only thing that we need for trade because we had morals so high, highly standard that we didn't need to need money. You use that money as a, as a promissory note that says that you can trust me because I have this dollar which is backed up by some natural resource. But the truth is, all we got is each other. And we should have the morals to not lie, to not steal, to care about each other like you care about your brother. As we used to have that at one point when we were in tune with the earth and in tune with our true essence, which is nature. We had those morals where we didn't even need one. We have to get back to that state. You understand what I'm saying, brother? I, I hear you. I understand what you're saying. Uh, so now... I, I need to be part of this conversation. I'm hearing the things you say. Told you, man. I need to be part of this man, conversation. So, you say we never used to have money, and in fact, money's evil, and in fact, <laughs> money, uh, we dealt with morality, and we used to exchange morality, correct? You right. Um, basically, what that means is is that there was a golden rule called do unto others as you have them to do unto yourself. Okay. So what that means is no one was homeless. No one could be ever homeless. No one could ever be hungry. And we all live that way like we used to live when we shared okay. in that way. Okay. When we loved each other. And this starts, and, and, and let me say this. Okay, brother. This starts, and it could start right there with you and your family. It could start right there with you and your family, right? Everything starts at home. So it starts with the family base. So it started with the black man and woman, and our family has been broken apart because of money. 
No problem, bro. Because of money, our family and, our, our, our family has been broken apart. A man, woman, child okay. has been broken apart because of the um the economic economic system. Okay, okay, brother. So I'm yeah, you know, I'm a I'm a slow learner, and I'm not being facetious. I actually take a very long time to get off a page that I really like. If I read a page in a book that I really like, I stay on that thing for so long. It's ridiculous. I'd be on it for a whole year if possible. So I'm going back to the money thing. So I, I need to I need to work with you here. Okay, so I know money to be. I'm just gonna get this colloquial meaning right now. Just just a Merriam Webster's dictionary meaning. It's a current medium of exchange in form in the form of maybe coins, banknotes, coins and banknotes collectively, uh, medium of exchange, the assets, property, and resources owned by someone or something, wealth, okay, uh, payment for work or wages. <clears throat> so the first point of contention that I have, though I have many that I would like to point out, is if we exchange morals, then morals would have been a form of currency which would have been our money. So we always had money because there's always going to be an exchange or barter system where we consider something to be of value. Secondly, I would need a reference for what point in time did any civilized civilization not exchange, barter, buy and or sell only within the context of exchanging morals. Now, I've never heard this before. Now, what I would say is, it's a very fanciful idea, it sounds great, and if you want society to work towards those ideas, I appreciate the concept, and it may need to be fine-tuned, but nonetheless, it sounds very positive. But when we start saying, this is what we used to do, and we never was there, and money is evil, and we exchange morals instead of currency, now, I have to say, where are you getting these ideas from? Because I've never heard of it. I've never come across it. And I'm looking for a point of reference for it. Do you have a point of reference where a group of people never bartered, bought, exchanged, or used any other type of medium other than morals to get their home, their goat, their sheep, their oxen, their blanket, or anything else that's considered a value. Okay, so, uh, all right, I appreciate you running the definition, but I can give you a point of reference right now in this time and place because I live so close to it. I want you to look out and I want you to realize that the human race is only one species out of how many species on this rock that we on, whatever you want to call it, whether it's a flat plain or a rock. How many species on this planet need money to live other than the human species? Okay, uh, so I'm going to ask the question one more time before I answer your question. Cause you okay, so I don't, I, don't think you, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. Oh, I, totally, right? I totally understand. It's called demurring. That's when you answer a question with a question. So before I... Right, I, mean, I, I, think I, I, think, I think you missed... I asked it. I answered your question, but I don't think you understand, so let me break it down. No, 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 don't, before I, you do that, I, I hold, use, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because you was talking to the Hold on, before I you do that, hold on, right, right, hold on, right, right, right. before you do it, I'll go again. You said I could show you something more modern. My question was, when did we ever have a society, as far as civilization is concerned, meaning I'm not talking contemporary times, when in history can I find, as a point of reference, where we exchange morals, which, in fact, would have made morals currency, okay? But show me where in history, by virtue of what money means, morality would have been currency because we bought it or we exchanged it for one thing for another. It still would have been currency anyway. But let's ignore that. And I'm going to bite on what you're talking about by simply saying, do you have a point of reference in history, not contemporary, where we as a society did not use coinage, did not use bartering, did not use buying and sharing, but we use morality in order for us to sustain and gain some kind of financial or economic momentum or to establish housing or to get clothing or to get food or deal with agriculture. Where in history did you get this information from? As I said, it sounds like a great idea we can move towards and maybe fine tune it and tweak it. 
But morality is very subjective, and that's one of the reasons why it wouldn't be able to hold up as a form of currency anyway. But I don't mind. Do you have a point of reference historically where man in his inception or a little later afterwards only survived off of morality itself? All right. So this is why I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer your question. First of all, I'm going to say this. And I get your point on money being a currency and morals being a sort of money in our days. So listen to what I'm saying to you. your definition, I'm, I'm listening. Uh, no, I, so what I'm saying to you, listen. You're asking me for history of, a, of our oppressors, our oppressors' history. Like, basically, when you say history, you're asking me to give you knowledge that only you can get in your DNA. Now, listen, let me finish this now. I know it's going to sound crazy for you. Because when you say history, you are talking about what the white man recorded. Do you understand that? I do not understand what you're talking about, but I'm, right. I'm walking with you. To okay, hear okay. All right, all right, all right. When I say, when I say <laughs> all of our history that we have today has been through the interpretation of the mind of our oppressor, unless we have went over there and looked at it ourselves, but even then, that is only what we can see from that civilization. We, there, was, there was so much more that we don't even understand. And this is where, this is where our, our problem comes in. You asking me, show, show you a history where we had uh, a time where there was no money and it was all only morals. It's like asking you a time, it's asking me to say, show me in history, hip hop. Show, show me in history where there was hip hop before it's hip hop now. Now, I know you can go into some kind of way of hip -hop trying to just, say, like, well, in Africa we had hip-hop in some kind of formal way. Hip-hop just had a birthday. Hip-hop just had a birthday. Let me finish my statement. Are, are you, let, wait, let me finish my statement. Okay, go ahead, brother. Let me, let me, let me, let me, make, let me finish my statement. I got you. What I'm saying to you is, we are, in a, we are in a new world, brother. We are in a new time. You've never seen the things that's coming out of us now. What, what I'm saying is this, like, maybe you don't even understand that, it, that the things that are to come have been hit in a history that they haven't never dialected or found. And what I'm telling you is that what we have in our DNA is beyond what you can find in history because we are the Alpha and Omega. And I'm telling you that we have to tap into a natural state to, uh, to, to come into a point to ever even tap into the, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? To, to, to invent something new. They know what we can do. We don't know what we can do. They play with the idea of what we can be. But you know here, I'm out here closer to the equator in the jungle. And my mind already knows how the system is supposed to be. But I also know that we are wrapped in a system that is perpetuated to keep us against each other and keep us on vibrate to a lower frequency of electrical magnetic field. And I know the game, and I'm a, I could break that whole game down to you, what you're doing over there, compared to where we're supposed to be as a people. No doubt, brother. So, now, uh, let, let me chime in for what it's worth, okay? Uh, let, me, let, me, yep. let, me, let me get a little bit of this. What, what I'm hearing from you, and then this is, what, this is what I have to make clear. You say a lot of things that I like hearing. It's just not addressing the conversation. You're saying a lot of things. I, I, I appreciate, you know, what the white man does with history and everything. But if a man asserts that black people never did something before, then you have a point of reference for where you get that idea from. So, I'm not going to hang on this no more after this one. We can move on to the other to things. To the sun. Let's go to that sun. Not yet, though. Not yet. But <laughs> what I need to know is now what I take from what you're saying is I should just take your word for it. Because white people have been lying to us. Even if you assert that something transpired historically, I should not look to reference it after your assertion because you are closer to the equator. And because you're closer to the equator and you understand what's really going on and this information is actually in our DNA, the only thing I could conclude from this is that I should just take your word for it whenever you tell me something. Now again, the things that you say after the question... I like almost everything that you say, but I feel it's a bit misappropriated. And then that's what we use. Then we then we use that. Then we use that for the polite. Hold on, real quick. For the polite, we have to. I don't want to. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to confuse what I like hearing for history. 
I like hearing what you're saying. It makes me feel good as a black person. You know, white people be telling lies, and you know, our information is in our DNA. And the closer we get to the equator, you know, it's going to make a distinction amongst those of us that know what's more relevant with this day and time. I'm just paraphrasing. Than, than those who further. I, I even under, I understand, I appreciate a lot of what you're saying. The problem is when you say, we never did this before. Because you told, remember, money's my religion. So I ain't gonna have nobody just bashing my religion like that. <laughs> so if you're telling me something about religion, my religion in particular, then I gotta fight for my religion. We gotta have a religious crusade. So in my religion, I can show you historically money being used since time immemorial mm. in civilized communities. That's why I said civilizations. Because as thinking people, can you say, you know, show me another species that needs it. Show me another species with the brain capacity that we have. As we are sentient beings, as we went past or transcended homo genus and homo sapien, once we go past those things, we become so sophisticated and so crafty, we need laws, we need rules, we need regulations. And it's not at... And, and, and hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, brother. So, I got you, brother. So, so morality is going to be subjective. And the reason why we know morality is diverse because it's subjective is because we see all these different factions or different religious denominations who all have the truth, who all have moral systems that conflict with each other. So we can't just in general say, well, morality is our currency. So again, for the last time, if you don't have a point of reference after a certain that we never use money, I ask again, is there, what is the civilized culture that you can point out as a matter of reference, not because of no white man, because I've heard this from only black people telling Nature, me. Nature, tap out, oh, nature, on. that's all, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've, hold only, on. <laughs> I've only heard black people come up with this idea that we never use money, money is wicked. Right. But I know people right. are wicked. I don't know no damn dollar shit yeah. nobody. Yeah. I never saw I never saw a five dollar bill trip nobody. Right. I never saw a hundred dollar bill kill nobody. Right. Black people do this, white people do this, people world over do this. Money just be sitting there. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And if people use money for evil and it can be accredited for evil, why can't we accredit money for good? You feel me? Why can't we accredit money? For good things, if people do good with money as well. Why are you taking only the bad things? But I may be asking too much questions. So one question is, are you tapping out on a point of reference for where you get this idea black people never use money as a form of currency or never use money in general, one. And then the second question is, if money is evil and it's being used for good as well, why is it only evil? Ooh, good point. Okay, so, so this is what I'm going to say to you. And, and you, you, you said a lot. And I, what, I, what I noticed about watching you <laughs> is that, you know what I'm saying? Listen, this is what I noticed about watching you. Is you, is you <laughs> oh match, but you met your match now, brother. You uh -oh. met your match now. Go ahead, nature. I, what, I, got a Go ahead, question, listen, I got a question for you, and I let you speak, so don't cut me off. Just go. go I got go, a go. question for you. Okay, we ain't going to get the answer. I got you. Yeah, I got a question for you, brother. Go ahead. Who on the bank? Who on the bank? Uh, well, the bank that I'm running, uh, the bank that I'm part of is called One United Bank, and the CEO is a former Black Panther, but uh, the whole board is black, uh, what you call African American, whom I call American Africans of the diaspora. It's called One United Bank, they're actually the biggest black bank in the world. That's where I have my money in, One United Bank. Okay, so who owns that bank? One United is ran <laughs> by... Who owns people. that bank, brother? The CEO of the bank is a black man. The CEO is the one that's accredited. And who, who, who owns that bank? The CEO is accredited for owning the bank or running the bank or facilitating the means for banking to transpire, and he's a black person. So are you going to tap out on that question? <laughs> are you going to move forward or what? Uh, the person that is the, C, oh, the CEO, the CEO of the bank and the CFO of the bank, as well as seven other seceding members I'm of that ask, bank. I'm going to ask you again, Brother Polite, who no. owns that bank? I answered your question, sir. Unlike you, I said that the people that own that bank are black individuals the or CEO African Americans. Is not, is the CEO is not the owner of that bank. You know, you know who owns the bank is the Federal Reserve. Why is he playing, bro? You more intelligent than this. Uh, hold on, brother. The Federal Reserve does not own the bank. That's incorrect. Oh, I they just own the money. They own the money that they, they print the money, right? No, the Federal Reserve. Who own the money? The Federal Reserve does not print the money. That's also incorrect, sir. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Again, 
who owns the money? Because uh, so I don't see no black well, people well, on this money. As far who as, owns the money? As far as the well, Ghanaians have black people on their money. Does that mean they own the money only in Africa? Yeah, we're not in Ghana. We're not. We're not. We're not. And we already know who owns Ghana's bank. We know who no, owns all the banks of the oh, world. Oh, so, so, I'm so, asking so, you, so, you, stop, you know, because that's your religion. Hey, stop, brother. That's your religion. Okay. I'm asking you. So, this is your religion. I'm okay, I heard you. I heard you brother. say that several times. Let okay, me, now who talk. owns all the banks of the world? Okay, brother, stop, right? stop, 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 stop. First, what we're going to do is take our time to dissect everything you say, so I don't omit anything you said. Now, what you just did was assert that since white people are on this dollar. Then it's clear that we don't own the money on this money. So I said Ghanaians have uh, six black men on their dollar, right? So I would wonder if now who owns the treasury? Can you stop real quick and let me talk real quick, and my brother? Because I'm not talking. Who owns the treasury, brother? Polite. Can you stop real quick, my brother? Remember, Nike is the one who takes receipt for a treasury. You trying to bully me now? You trying to bully me now? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wait until you stop filibustering. You you trying to bully me? You trying to bully me like you do everybody on your channel? I watch you all the time. You always bully me. Oh I'm asking you a question, a simple question. Who oh. owns the treasury? Who owns money? Who oh. owns money? You playing a game? Money's a game. Who owns it? Uh, what you're doing, brother, is asking me several questions at a time, and it's and it's evolving as I'm teaching. No, you. it's just one yeah. question. Who owns money? Who owns money? It's a game. Who owns it? Can you let me talk, brother? You can't keep cutting me off when I'm speaking. Like you're saying I'm bullying, but you're Go ahead, Thank you, my brother. So we went through quite a bit of the evolution in this conversation. So in one element of the conversation, depending on the face we see on the dollar determines who's the people that own the money. Okay. And and we, we, we escaped out of there. We hauled ass the second I saw the accent about that. Because I said, well, there's places. It's, it's, the, it's the symbols. It's the symbols. It's their symbols. I don't mind you keep cutting me off, but understand it's going to take longer for me to say what I have to say so we can move forward. I, I move forward. No, because what you do, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what you do. This is what you do. Every time, this is what you do. I'm going to tell you, I'm now you're going to have a it's whole speech. Like you're going to use a whole bunch of big words. Oh. And you're going to confuse the mind of the black people because we don't have a big uh, vocabulary. And it, you, it makes you seem really intelligent. And because people can't keep up with your vocabulary, and you know the average person can't keep up with your vocabulary, it dumbs everybody down to think like, you know what, he just, he's intelligent. But you can't get me with that because I understand all your words. I'm, I'm glad you can't be tricked by me, brother. So now, <laughs> allow me to speak, my brother. Okay. And, all, all, right. Right. all right. All right. I'm just telling you to answer the question simply. Yo, I'm going to get to the whole, sun now. Let's get to the, the whole there. thing. Just, it's, just, it's, it's your religion, right? If you ask me who owns my religion, I'm like, I'm, I'm either going to say Jesus or God. Who's the God of your religion? You should know right off the bat. This your religion money? Who owns money? Who runs it? Who okay. got the top of money? Okay, okay, stop my brother. Stop real quick. Because it's clear you don't know what the word religion means. And it's also clear you, you're you overlooking what the word money means. So, now we have several things to talk about here. You're doing this. You're doing this. Uh, we really don't, man. Everybody know what I mean. You don't have to do Everybody it. Does Everybody does not know what, what I mean, man. All you got to do is make it simple. You want to make it complicated and be literal. What I'm saying is this, as in, everybody knows what I mean that's listening. When I say money, which is your religion, who's running the money? If money is a game, who owns the money? Well, well, stop. Who owns the money? Okay, brother, who okay. owns the resources I, behind I, I, the money? Stop, stop, stop. Who owns the world okay, that you live in? Okay. I had a hard time getting you to answer a question. I, when I had a hard time getting you to answer a question, I did not tell you you was talking too long. In fact, I had to tell you when I waited my turn that you talked that length, so please give me some time to speak. That's what I said to you. Okay, now in your religion, you have to exercise more discipline to allow people to talk even if you disagree. That's what I need you to do. Because in your religion... every time oh, I started talking, you cut me off. So in your religion, y'all exchange morality. I don't know what part of morality is filibustering. You got to allow me to speak even if you think that my style of debate is unbecoming. You still got to allow me to get a word in edgewise. Now, if you, answer the question, Brother Polite. You got to answer the question. You cannot, it's a simple question. You cannot ask me five different questions and evolve as I keep picking holes through it. And <laughs> yo, you, <laughs> son, let me tell him to answer the question. Who? No, who no, no tell him to stop cutting me off. You got to stop cutting them off, though. Uh, let him get it out, and then you can go. Yeah, brother, calm down. No, because I'm going to tell you what he's trying to do, son. Nigga. What he's trying to do is he's trying to break down the word money. He's trying to he's trying to break down the word money, but he's going to bring it back to treasury. He's going to say that the, what we're talking about is not actually money. 
He's talking about, oh, who owns the money? He's going to use another word to express what I asked him in the end, trying to make me look silly. But we all know what I'm talking about. It's real silly. It's really simple. Who owns the money that, that you're talking about is your religion. Money's your religion. Then who's your God? Who owns you? We're going to educate the brother. Who owns you? Who do you praise? All right. You got to let him talk. Money. Now, now, it's, now it's who owns me. You see, it keeps changing. So you got to stop talking because you keep asking new questions. And I'm keeping up with every question you ask. Believe me. But I got to ask some... not new questions, but it's one question. It's only one question. So, so who owns the money owns me? That's what you're saying? That's a fact. So you're telling me you don't spend no money whatsoever in your life? He's a liar. Absolutely, I do. Okay. So, so, so someone owes you as well, too, right? Yes. Excuse me? Yes. But, so, but somebody owes you, too. That you don't got no control over yourself. Somebody owns you, right? Because you no 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 this is this is hold on stop 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 this is and this is hold on stop stop brother stop this is what I'm saying brother stop no no I'm not gonna listen I'm gonna tell you why this is why you should before you keep saying new things let me address the previous things you said because then we'll never address the first things you said because you keep blurting out other things that are in question I don't mind let me talk so I will let me talk we'll ask the question who owns what okay stop brother stop. We're not doing it this way. You don't ask me a question, switch the question, ask me another question, switch the question, and find the one you really like. We, I'm going to go in the order in which you ask me these questions. It's the, it's the same question, though. It was the same question. It is not, it is, it is not the same question. It's one whether, question. It is not the same question, and whether you agree it's the same question or not, at least give me the liberty to respond to some of the things you've been saying as an intellectual, brother. I'm dealing with you as an intellectual, and I'm presuming you'll have more discipline to just let me respond, brother. You got a let me respond, brother. Stop jumping. All right, just all right, this, is, this is my issue. All right, before, before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to let you respond. This is my issue, right? This is crazy. My issue is this, because I was trying to respond to you. The first thing that you asked, was, you had asked me two questions, right? You asked me two questions. Let's bring it back because we intellectuals, right? You asked me two questions, brother for life, right? You asked me about the civilization, and then you asked me the other one about uh, that's, that's incorrect. Something else about the same thing. That's incorrect. Yeah, about the that's incorrect. I did you asked two questions, and I was about to answer them. I was about to answer them, and then I asked you a question. All right, yeah, hold on. Here's the confusion. Asked, now let me finish. I, I, I asked you a question, and, I, and that question. I wanted to ask you who owns money real quick to answer my question. And unfortunately, you, I'm not giving you, you the response you're looking for. Now, listen, listen, let me finish. You're, gonna, you're trying to take, it was a simple question that I thought you would give me a simple answer, but I see you're taking the mic back now, and now you're going to break down some words and break down the etymology of some things. And then no, you're gonna, I'm trying to answer the question analogy, you were asking me by asking you a simple question, but you're going to make it complicated, so I'd rather not even go into it. Because you're going to take the time. Let's go to the sun. Take to the sun. No, we're not doing that. We're going we're gonna to eventually answer this question, but we got to we gotta do this the right way. We're not going to keep jumping around from one idea to the next. You can't tell me how to answer a question and what's the simplest way for me to answer it. You got to listen to me respond, and then whether you have an anticipation for the response or not, respond nonetheless. If you don't want to have the conversation, we can just get off the phone. We can move on and live our lives. But, brother, we got to be respectful. Let me have my bill. You have your bill, and we're we going to get it in. Yo, Nature, come on, man. I've been telling them that you're nice with it. So don't <laughs> let me down, Nature. Come on, man. Yeah, so now let me go to the money thing. Let them talk, Nature. You don't have to tell people what I'm about to say. I'll tell go them. Go ahead. Go ahead and talk. But when I, when I start talking, I, I, I don't want to be cut off. I'm gonna let All right. Talk. All right. You've been talking the bulk of the time, my brother. That's not a problem. I even just be real here. Okay, so now, when we're talking about money, I think what he wants to do is talk about the International Monetary Fund. That's right. probably what he wants to talk about. But he doesn't have the, the enough information to jump into that word and go right there. Now, these are not big words I'm using to persuade people's judgment. This is right. actually an acronym. Okay? And this acronym is the International Monetary Fund, which he's probably uh, talking about, probably. But I still have to say i got to make a presumption because I'm not too sure what he's talking about anyway. Okay? I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just grasping for straws here. Would you like to be clear about that? Would you like to be clear about that? Would you like to not, 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 yeah. not, not at the present moment. Not the present moment. I just I just want to converse with the people that's listening so we can get on track. Because what I know that he's calling money doesn't fit the description of what he's talking about. And unfortunately, I'm always in this position. I find myself in a position where I make sure I understand the words that I'm using so I can use them properly in my deliberation. 
I don't want to have a conversation with somebody where we can make up the words and terms as we go, because that's where the confusion comes in. So now, there was a part, there's a discrepancy here. Because by his logic, the complexion of the race or the race on the money determines who owns the money. And in turn, whoever owns the money also owns us. With the exception of him who also has money, but he's not owned by who owns the money, but who owns the money owns me. I never so said that. You did say that, that. And, and you're recording, so don't worry about it. You can, you can rebut it when I'm done. Don't worry about it. Because I asked you right after, do you own money? And you say yes. So I said, does that mean someone owns you? And then now, you went into some other stuff. So what I'm saying is, if by virtue of the fact who owns the money, someone owns me, and if I own money, I'm owned by default, and then he owns money, then by default he also has no control over himself because he's also owned. That's one. That's what I can take from that, from him saying things. Now, one of the other things he says is there's white people on your money. So white people own your money. White people own the money. So I said, well, the Ghanaians have money, and their money has six black people on it. We then jump out of that conversation. Well, we know who runs their bank and owns their bank. No, you made it a point of the people that's on the actual paper determines who owns it. Yeah. So now since you blurted that out, I would like to make it clear that the Ghanaians have black people on their money, so I guess it's safe to presume that they are an instance in time where black people own the money. Now, these are not my ideas. I would have never had a conversation like this from the get-go. These are things that's being said at random. And he's hoping that we just omit it from conversation. You picking Yo, out things I said. Though. I got you. You can correct me. You picking out things I, I said. I, I got though, you, brother. No problem. Brother polite. You picking out things that no I said. No problem. No problem. Okay, I got and you. Then you you're, you're correct me later. Weak point. No you're problem. You picking out my weak point. Okay. But no, you're not really getting into I mean, what I actually well, said, though, I, brother. Okay, like, I got you. Hold on. on. What are you doing? It's called. I, it's called. It's called comprehension. I got you, brother. And what one thing we both agree about is these were your weak points. You and I both agree with that. So now we're gonna move forward. Well, so, I, well, so don't that, worry about it. You're doing. You're, you're yeah. trying to. You're Why trying would you to, argue about the weak right instead of be real? I got you're you. You're trying to be right instead of being real. I understand, brother, but understand. Whoever you're debating is not going to speak to you the way you want them to speak. You got to allow me to just have I didn't, my... call it, I didn't call it a debate with you. I called it a bill with you. Well, this is a debate at this particular point in time because I don't agree with you. So now, because you told me I'm a religion. <laughs> so now what I'm saying is, now we get to the point. <laughs> who, who owns the money? So now we like, who owns the money? So what I'm saying is, at this particular moment, I own the money that's in my pocket. Sanetta owns the money that's his in, in his pocket. The One United Bank that I bank with. Okay, they are the ones who runs that bank, those black people. Now, if you're talking about the IMF, okay, which is consistent of also black people, then I would have to say who owns the money as far as the world of currency as we speak. When we're talking about precious metals, mm -hmm. refinery accounting, and so forth and so on that backs these currencies, okay, then I would have to say it's a combination of races inclusive of black people that are part of the International Monetary Fund that may translate into the banking system, which is not exclusive to white people. Now, why we have to always get into white people in these conversations, beyond me, but since you want to include them, the money that's being regulated, the regulatory system for currency around the world is not exclusive to black people, it's not exclusive to white people, black people are also involved with it. These are absolute facts. So I'm not going to have you confer to me misinformation. It's just true. Go ahead, my brother. Who owns the money? You got the answer. Okay, so, you, so basically, of races. basically, what you're saying is that people got a bank. We got, we have a, we have a, we have a, uh, and we have a, nope. we, we, nope, nope, we have a, we, have, we print money. Who's we? <laughs> All right. So listen, man. This is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. See what you what you doing right now is crazy because everybody already knows who owns. The whole system. We know about the Jews. We know about. Why is what I'm saying to you? Why is Nature Boy this using money since it's, it's evil? But that's a, that's a, listen. That's that's. Does your following know that, that you out here spending right. money on the low? Does your following know you sneaking wait. around spending money? Wait, hold on, hold up. I'm not I'm not talking about how you spending money. I'm I'm, I'm not saying that either. I'm just saying that. What are you saying? You said money is your religion. You said money is your religion. You said money's evil. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying money ain't my religion, bro. I money, know. your religion. Nature's my religion. This okay. is what my, I'm so, talking so, about. So, so it's nature. Y'all laughing at me is, 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 is crazy. Because so, it's like, you said money, your religion. 
That means that's the way of your life. That's your way of life. And guess what? You understand what I'm saying? And guess what? My way of life yeah. is my way of life is part of your way of life because you're spending money. And money is my religion. You can't live your life without being part no, no, of my it's religion. A, it's a, <laughs> It, it's a difference. Because you're practicing my religion my every time. Position. Every time you spend money, you're right practicing. Now, listen, to, listen, let me let me say something. Let me say this. Go ahead, brother. In my position right now, if, if, if money was to sell, I'm straight. Do you know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because I own my own land. I harness my own water. I harness my own electricity. I make sure I, I have my own food on my own yard. I got two trees. I got. I make sure I have every resource that I need to survive without money. I could live without money right now. Okay. If the money system was to fall off, I wouldn't need it because I'm in a position right now with my with my own in a, in a place okay. Let's in a tropic okay. where, where we're supposed to be in a natural environment I got where we're supposed to be as a species. Okay. Is what I'm saying to you. No doubt. So, are you the same brother that when you was in one of the other countries they kicked y'all out of it? That's it. What, that's one of that's one of my struggles that, that coming out here. Yeah, that's my journey. Uh, what about it? Did you need some money to transition from one place to the next, or did they relocate you? Absolutely. At, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now, boy. Because I ain't gonna play this game with you. This is what it is, and I, and it's gonna sound crazy to you, and y'all might laugh at me. But okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take this moment to educate you on this real quick. No problem. Here's what it is. <clears throat> listen, listen to me right now. Listen. The earth plane, you know how you go to sleep. Let me let me talk. Don't don't come off. You know how the earth plane, you know how you go to sleep every night and you wake up? You ever wonder why you keep waking up here? Well that reason is for that reason why you keep waking up here is because this is this is a mental plane. You are in a mental plane right now. You don't have a body, you don't have arms. You don't got legs. So why you, you are only a mind. So why this do, is what I'm saying. Let why me do you call yourself nature don't, don't boy? Don't cut me off. Let me finish. Let me finish. You know Let me finish what I got to say. Nature then you can go. Physical. You don't have all Very close. You are inside of your body right now. Right. Every city that you that you walk through or travel through are cancers in your body. <laughs> Listen to me. The earth plane, the earth that you say is the earth, it, it has cancer. It's sick. The, the nature of your body is the equilibrium of your body. And anything that lives against your body, and like even inside your body, anything that lives against the equilibrium of your body or the nature of your body is considered a uh, virus or, or cancer or disease. And that's what the, the Caucasian is on, on this plane. So when we're traveling, when we're traveling from one point to another point, because it is infected, with their system, they think they 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 have made a way. You have to have a piece of paper. You have to get a green paper to give them a white paper to give them a blue paper to get a green paper. That paper thing, that's their imagination, their cancer cell. You're supposed to be an immune system cell. So we use the money against Caesar. We win the under Caesar's what is Caesar's just to get by, just to get through, to get back to the jungle. When we're traveling through, we use their system against them. Oh, they want their little ID? Here you go, here's your little ID. We play their little game to pass through their blockages. Now, one of my papers wasn't right to them in their world, but in their mind, one of my papers wasn't right. But see, I'm fully awoken over here. I'm in the jungle. I know who I am. I'm God in human flesh. And which is basically life, which is energy, and out of your own body, and you don't even realize it. You don't even realize it. That all of us are cells, and either you're going to be a cancer cell inside your body, a disease cell, or you're going to be an immune cell that goes and lives in harmony with your body and gets back to your body. The, the system that we were raised in is a system that teaches us to go against it, to even understand that you got and realize you got You are a nervous system cell in your body. And guess what your body is? The, the being that we live inside of is God. Like the cells in your body call you God. They think that you're God. The cells in your body call you the omnipotent force of them because guess what? Your mind controls your biology. So guess what? You are inside of your body. So you're not receiving what your mind, what the mind of the body that you're in, Allah, is telling you to do, which is to live in harmony. So imagine that that's a, that you are that you are the being that you live inside of, that you are a cell, right? And, it's, and the being is sending codes and a mind is to heal the body. Like you're going to say, I'm going to heal my body. But your cells in your body do not hear you. 
because they're insulated with rubber on their feet, with clothes on them, but, but their skin is, a, is, is made for them to communicate with you. So at the end of the day, when something copes the, the, the communication between you and the cells in your body, your, your cells in your body don't know how to communicate right with the higher self, which is you. So guess what? That's what this is, brother. Don't, money, money is the root of all evil because money distracts us from the very thing that we're supposed to be doing, and that is living in tune with our God, which is nature. We must get closer to the sun. The sun is our God. The sun is our mind. We have to get closer to the sun, brother. Your melanin ain't there for no reason for you to be like, yeah, my melanin. No, your melanin is an antenna that connects you with the highest, with the highest self, which yo, is the being that we live in. Yo, brother, how long you want to be talking? Yeah. That's all. Gonna... I just want to, you can say whatever you want to say after that. It don't matter. Right. That's who I am. Don't cut him off, brother. Let him talk. Okay. So, again, it sounds great. Anything that sounds like it uplifts black. No, I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you that. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, brother polite, I watch you. You way more intelligent because I watch you break it down. Now, I know your astrology. We already got your astrology. My whole squad, we got your astrology. You understand? We know what you, we know what you about, man. We know what you about, and we know how intelligent you are. We know your choices that you decided to make, and we appreciate your dedication even to your own decisions. But we know that you're far more intelligent than what you, what you provide in us. And people know. Our people are looking for you to lead them out of here because you were one of the leader cells in our body. So you got the power to harm and to keep everybody perpetuating ignorance and lead them against their own will. When you tell people to chase money instead of chasing God with his nature, getting in tune with the resources, getting in tune with being healthy, making sure that we're in tune with the universe. Brother, we're supposed to be going towards the sun in the jungle. We're supposed to be coming back to an original state. I we're here. All that you're doing, all that you're doing is, is keeping our people down. Okay, we bro. have to come back to God. Our God is nature. Okay, the bro. sun. Okay. The moon. Your God, okay, brother. Okay. So your God is nature. And it, I'm, I'm with it. I'm walking with you, brother. Here's the problem. If you said God had a nature, that'd be one thing. But when you say your God is nature, then that means there's no God outside of planet Earth. Because nature only deals with that which is all encompassing of what's inside of planet Earth. Mm. Now... The problem is going to come. He's nature boy, right? Mm -hmm. And But we're living in a mental realm. But he's nature boy. But nature is the phenomena of the physical world. So he's only <laughs> living in a mental realm. So the... the it, I, it, it, it is no physical. It's not the brother, physical. you got to let him go, nature. I, I, come I on, you. man. I got you, brother. So He knows that nothing is physical, though. He knows that nothing I, is I, physical. I, I disagree with that. Let me, I, he disagree knows with that. that. I, stop, brother. Stop. He's intelligent. Stop, brother. Stop. 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 He knows that nothing is physical. You nothing is physical. He knows in. that. You, I'm telling you. I only got one minute in before you started doing this, brother. Please. So, listen. And I listened to what you said. I took serious note. And I wanted to start off with the very word nature. And people say it's not fair when we look up the words that we're using to communicate with each other. Because I'm page. Now, we're not going to play fair and we're going to make these words mean whatever we want our heart and mind to mean. Then I will say I'll decline respectfully from having this conversation. Because I don't want to play pretend or make believe. I want to use these words to the best of my ability so we can communicate better so there's understanding. Okay? So nature deals with the phenomena of the physical world collectively including plants, animals, the landscape, and other features and products of the earth as opposed to humans or humans' creations. Okay? So, God is nature. Okay? And if you go into any science textbook, you're going to see that nature is everything, encompassing everything that just was read here. You know it's going to say nothing about outer space, right? Because if it's nature, like, right? Mother nature, right? Mother earth. If it's nature... It's inside planet Earth. If it's outside of planet Earth, we're dealing with the cosmos and universe. So his God is limited to the physical world. That's one thing we know. Mm. And we're living on a mental plane, but unfortunately, he's nature boy. So he's the only one not included in this mental plane because he's nature boy. He's not mental boy. That would have been dope if he was mental boy because then he exists on a mental plane. Uh. And he may have incarnated and come in a physical personage in this natural or nature realm to be able to confer information to us about the mental realm. But instead, this is the mental realm. Now, let me tell you what the mental realm is on planet Earth. It's called the ionosphere. You have a stratosphere. You have a troposphere. You have a mesosphere. You have a hemisphere. You have the outer layer called outer space. You have the hemisphere. The ionosphere is where mental 
transmission can take place. That's where radio signals can take place. Sometimes two people thinking about the same song at the same exact time because the landscape is so high, you're picking up radio frequencies that have been modulated. This is called FM. This is a fact. Okay, you can look it up, frequency modulation, and the higher the altitude, the more susceptible and vulnerable you are to messages being transmitted to you, just like walkie-talkies or radio signals. So the mental plane of planet Earth is the ionosphere. I'll give you another example. Planes cannot travel unless they're on the stratosphere. But if, it's, if they're about to uh, reach turbulence, then they'll go to the troposphere, because that's the only two places where planes can fly. Okay, so there's different spheres on planet Earth that we can liken to what we like to call chakras. Like the planet Earth technically has chakras, if we will. If we're going to make an analogy between the planet Earth being divided seven times or even nine, then we can make that analogy. I'm not doing that. I'm just painting some imagery here so we can find where the mental plane is on planet Earth, which is the outer sphere. That's the number fourth plane on planet Earth. That's where all the mental projections and transmissions is really going to take place. That's where they descend the sin, and that's where it's the most... Our most ability for human beings to communicate modulated frequencies in order to transmit messages. Okay? Now back to money. If money is the root of evil, I don't know why he is exempt from the very evil, because then that would suggest to me if money is evil, every transaction is wicked. That's what that would suggest to me. If money is the root to all evil, and in fact he contends money is evil, everyone else on planet Earth for spending it. And, okay. and, and in fact, he should be worse because he knows money's evil. He knows better than to spend his damn money. And he's spending his money. <laughs> so, and when, and when, right, and so even, I, hold on, I'm not going to, hold on. Hold on, We have to, you, we have to, we have, we have to understand <laughs> that money hey, is hey, being used. Take a mental We note. have to understand that money is, money is taken from nature. Okay, I Money is you. taken from nature. What makes money valuable is natural resources. So okay. that means we have to take the money that we do have and put it back okay. into nature. Okay. That means if I have money, okay. what I'm doing with my money is giving it back Hold to on, the brother. earth. Hold what on, you're brother. doing with your money is recycling it back okay. to take the earth. Okay, take your time. Difference. Take your time. Take your time. So it makes money valuable. It's a, di it's a difference. It's a difference. Hold it's on. a difference Hold because okay, okay. the money that the money that we the money that we have access to, we using it to make sure that we will never need money. Right. We make, we make, we're making sure that we'll never need money when that system fails. Okay. And it will fail. The economy okay. will fail. Okay, stop, stop, stop. But you, but you stop, have to stop, 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 If stop. you don't have Brother. resources, don't it don't matter. matter. We don't want to put you on mute. Stop. So, he just said, we're making sure that we don't need money, right? Which means they presently do need money. Which means you presently need to act like the wicked. And you presently need to partake in debauchery because money's evil. Which means... Y'all are working. We have to ring up. We have to ring up the season, but it's season. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. It's infested out here. No problem. It's infested. So, so look. When I use money, I'm not in a state of compromise. When y'all use money, y'all are in a state of compromise. Welcome to my religion. Yeah, so, when you use money, you give it, you give, you, when you use money, we watch what you spend your money on. We, when you use money, you use it for the that's ignorance. Not, that's not We're taking the money and getting the fuck out the system. Okay. You're using the money to live in the system. Hold on. It's a difference. Hold on. It's yeah. a difference. Hold on. Yeah. But yeah. that's like getting yeah. freedom papers. Okay. They're giving you their money, you're supposed to use it to get your own resources. Hold on, hold on. You're hold using on. it to, to party and chill with the remedies. Hold on, brother. Here's the question. It's a serious question. So money's not evil when you use it. Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that money is evil. I said it's the root of all evil. No. You want to tell what I'm saying to you? No. No, you said money was evil. That's In this right. conversation, you I'm said money was evil. Money, money, guess who owns the bank? The devil itself owns the bank. The devil owns the bank. We're going to have to. We, we've learned from this conversation. So listen, <laughs> what we're going to do is this. Okay? We know what you said. And if you want to retract the statement, we don't mind. You also said God is nature. And we now know that nature is only that which is all-inclusive or encompassing of that which is within the confines of planet Earth, not outside of Earth. So we know after Earth... No, it's not. That's not, after the Earth, you know God. that's not the only definition of nature. Find, you only need to find... Find, find me. That, that, find you me. Only you only need to find me. Find, find me. Find, find, find me. Hold on, brother. Find me a definition of nature that tells you something about outer space. I'll wait. Okay. Okay, look. Go down the definition and you'll see it. It's the controlling, compelling force of life. That's what it is. Nature is the controlling of the universe. It is the controlling, compelling force of the universe. Now, 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 look Where at this. You'll see it if you want to use the dictionary. Look at it. I'm looking. Look at it. 
Where says is that? I'm looking for it. Hold Look, on. Look, it, 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 it's a bunch of definitions for nature. Nature that I'm talking about is what? the controlling, compelling force of the universe. What Look it up. What dictionary reference is there? You told me look down, and it's clearly not here. It's not here, just so people don't... No, no, go ahead. Look, look, in the, look in the dictionary. Where, where is the name of the dictionary that you're using so I can use it as a point of reference? Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. I mean, so you got to put in, put in the word correctly. Put in nature definition and Google. I did, and I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so you're looking at the one that pulls up regularly? Uh, I looked at the first one in the search engine. Yes, I mean, you was reading from something. Read it again. Was you reading or you was just making the shit up? You was just reading from something. Read it again. Listen. Say it the same way. Say it the same way you just said. Listen, brother. Damn, you want to. Make some fun. You can go to dictionary.com. Dictionary.com. Okay, let's go. Let's go to dictionary.com. You know light is solid, right? Light is solid, liquid, and gas. Oh, shit. Where are you getting this information from? How is light, liquid, and gas? You know gas... Are you ready? Gas creates the light that becomes solid. The transition between the hydrogen okay. and the hydrogen. Okay, are you are you ready for the definitions in dictionary.com? Yeah, it's physical. Go ahead. Dictionary.com. Let's go. Let's, let's move it. Let's move down. Because we because right. you know I wouldn't say anything that wasn't there. I, I got you. Read it for me, brother. I got you. Dictionary.com. Where we at? Where do we go? You gotta scroll down. It's the white man stuff right here. We gotta scroll down. Inherit character, basic. They got, they got, uh, you could do, you could look at number 12. Number 12. When we talk about nature. Mine's goes to When we talk about nature, you can't even understand life without understanding nature. Name, everything you know about life, even your money is backed by nature. Nature is everything. The air that you breathe is nature. You, you don't even, they couldn't build an airplane without nature, bro. Come on. Nature, science is the study of the natural world. Come on, like, you, you can't go against nature. It's now the Antichrist. Brother, can you read it off? I'm not finding it. Just read it off. I'll trust you. Just read it off, brother. Let me see. Okay, the universe with all its phenomena. Do you see number five? I don't have it. I'm typing it in. Uh I'm okay, well, your, your wife is right there. She pulled up what everything else. No disrespect to you, you, queen. What did you say? What did you say? Can you help? What did you say? Can you help me, please? No, I mean, it's dictionary.com. It's the first website. I'm, at, I'm on dictionary.com. I'm looking for it. Come on, brother. You can read it. I don't have a problem. Just read it. That's all I'm actually doing. I just read it for you. I just read it for you. The universe. It says the universe with all its phenomena the universe, is nature. The universe and all its phenomena is nature. The sum total of the forces at work throughout the universe. Number six. Do you see it? Oh, physical. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, no, no. The sum total of the forces at work throughout the universe. Yes. Do you see number six? Yeah, yes, you're talking about physicality. Oh. Go ahead, I'm listening. Oh, it's that, it, I, I'm just showing you where it, it's beyond what you're talking about. If you're dealing with that which is physical, you're dealing with nature. He's proving your point. You know, no, it's beyond, nature is beyond, nature is beyond the physical. Brother, the air you breathing is from nature. Anything that, yo. Okay, let me you, ask, let me ask let you, something. you something. I look, look, let me say like this. Let me say this. I'm going to say So it's air physical. It's, it's, air, it's, it's air physical or not? Like this. Let me break it down. 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 All right. Go ahead, brother. You eat, you eat vegan, right? This is correct. <laughs> All right. So you eat a plant, right? This is to correct. To sustain your life. This is correct. You could say that that plant was physical, right? It definitely is. But all physical ma all physical matter has came from some in from uh, some non physical matter. All physical matter comes from a non physical matter. And, and when you have when you have gas, when you have gas, Go ahead. you have liquid, and then you have solid. We know this when you boil your water. Yes, and all that the water boils yeah. into a gas, but it's non physical. All of that but is it's physical. Still 
nature, you, nature still, is that which is physical, brother. That which is physical is nature. That's a fact. No, that's not true. That's not. I just showed you in this there. Anybody want to look it up with me? You want to uh, Mar 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 Whatever you want to call it. Mariam? Are you saying that liquid? Mariam, this, Mary, uh, uh, are you saying liquid and gas is not physical? Are you saying air is not physical? Are you saying nothing is physical? Oh, hold on, hold on. Are you saying nothing is physical? Hold on, brother. Stop, stop. In chemistry, you do know the word force is the ability to do work. You do know what work means in chemistry as well, right? I can give you some right. examples of work. And I'm telling you that I'm telling you that you are a living, breathing spirit. That you you're not even really what you think is solid. What you think is solid is spirit. It's energy. Okay. It is spirit. It is nothing is solid, and you know that. You know that nothing is solid, but all is nature. So hold on, nothing solid, and and every nothing is solid, and 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 you know that in the and when you when you look at the basic building block of life is an atom. Inside of an atom, we know it's ninety nine point nine 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 what energy. Brother, can we stop all of this pseudo stuff? <laughs> hold on, brother. Stop. Okay, no, no, that's stop the building block. No, you, no, stop, you, brother, you, this. no, listen, you, you let you want to let him talk too, man. Come on, man. That the atom that that your body is built on. The fabric of life, when we look at the fabric of life, we know that it's emptiness. So when you say something solid, quantum physics will tell you clearly that it's not solid. If we're going to talk quantum physics... So when you say that the natural world is everything physical, yeah, well, then, you, then you're not talking about chemistry, because chemistry, and if you're saying that uh, gas is not, is not physical, I mean, gas, that gas is, is physical... Is then come on, man. What are we saying here, man? Gas is physical. So is air. Like, and you said, hold on. He said, talk, he said everything is in the spirit then, right? That's what you said. Everything's in the spirit? You said you said that gas is physical? Okay, we're going to do this again. Can we look at the just, word physical, brother? Can I we just, look at the word physical? I just asked you a question, my brother, and then you're jumping in front of me to ask me a question. You're doing this again. <laughs> is everything in the spirit, brother? I don't mind answering your question. Please answer mine as I asked first. Is everything in the spirit? Everything is spirit. Now, that's a fact. Now, you now, are okay, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Stop, stop, before the cookbook, stop. Now, is breath physical or not? Breath is non-physical. Breath is non-physical, so... To the, to, the, to the definition that you bring it to. Okay, I don't it's know what you... Hey, 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 I can speak for myself. Let's not do that. So, if I got a balloon right now... Okay, well, look stop. at the definition My brother, of physical. Stop, stop. Definition of physical. Okay, stop, brother, stop. You'll do that on your time. Stop. I'm asking some questions here. Now, if I get a balloon... And I fill it up with my breath. Is it occupying space? Does it have any mass? Does it have any kind of buoyancy? Is there any room being used? No, that's pressure. That's called pressure. That's, that's, called, pressure. that's not called pressure. There's no material inside there. You can't grab that out. You can grab the balloon, but you can't grab the air. Come on, man. So if, so if I took the air out the room, would you be able to exist? Absolutely not. Come on, you ask so, me that. Because the air is taking up space, therefore it Ooh. occupies. You know, D equals M over B. I'm asking you D, the definition stop, of brother. physical. Density, what is physical? Density, what is physical? Stop, brother. Density equals mass over volume. Yeah. You're not going to play games. Density equals mass over volume. Brother, 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 and, and, and let me, hold on. Let me explain why I said this in the first place. Because everything's in the spirit. But what this brother don't know, spirit means breath. Okay, respiration, spirit aid come from the same thing. Inspiration, aspiration, respiration, uh, perspiration, it all comes from the same root word spirit, which means breath, and breath occupies space. That's why in the Bible it says, God blew his breath into man, man became a living soul. And the word that they use is nefesh call Yo. Just keep talking, they can't hear you. Yeah, so this guy, the problem is, anytime you deal with nature, you're dealing with that which is physical. I got them on low so the people can No, no, no scientist is ever going to turn around and use words and terms like nature when they have to specifically deal with the cosmos. They're not going to do that because nature is predicated upon physicality. And even when they use the word nature and they talk about cosmos, guess what words they have to use? Force. You know what the problem is? He wants to use the colloquial meaning of force, like if I blow my breath or something. And he says, oh, that's pressure. He'll probably call that force too. Force in chemistry is the ability to do work. What is work? An instance of work is D equals M over V. This equals mass over volume. Okay? And any way you flip it around, volume is going to be mass over this. It's any way you flip it around, we're dealing with things that constitute the elements that make up the physical world. That's nature we're dealing with. Okay. 
anything outside of the context of nature. Let's keep talking. Yeah. Anything you do. So in order for us to, we have to find the anti-nature. We have to find the anti-nature boy. That's what we need to deal with in order to get this information. <laughs> nature is always going to be constituted by the physical realm. That's a fact. He think you feral. Tell him that. Yeah, like, bro, like, you're not going to just use any words you want to use and talk about DNA and information. Bro, he, he, and all, he, all, he, all right, hold on. Hold on, nature. Nature, hold on. You always Let's deal with your God now. Let's deal with the sun. Let's move forward. Explain okay. to us why. Look, look, explain right? to Listen, us bro, why. Explain to okay. us why. Okay. why? The, that the sun is your God. Okay. But I just want to say this. We want to, we want to take note that he did not look in the dictionary. He looked for money. He did not look in the dictionary truly for what nature is as I, as I saw it. He told me, look it up. Oh. I looked up into his book and That's showed it. him where it was the compelling, controlling force of the universe. Yes. That it wasn't just physical. And what is the word It was the force of the universe. And that meant all of the universe. It doesn't mean it does all of the universe. What does force mean, bro? And are you taking the colloquial meaning or scientific meaning of force, which is the ability to do work? And then what does work mean? Okay, and you're going to so find we, out it constitutes let's matter. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Yeah, we should yeah, move yeah, forward. Let's move forward. <laughs> let's move forward. Right, so, so because listen, the problem is, listen, the problem is with our people, thing. let's say I was dealing with law, right? And I used the word minority. The minority doesn't deal with percentage. Now minority deals with he said nature can, was, can was, stop, what was dealing with can the physical. Stop, can you stop real quick, brother? So let's say, for example, if I was dealing with law. Now we have to have a different nomenclature. Now, if I was looking to spin y'all around using big words, I wouldn't define what I say immediately after I say it. Sometimes we're going to have to use these four-syllable words, five-syllable words, despite people's insecurities. Nomenclature is a specific assortment of words that caters to a genre in particular because the colloquial meaning is not relevant. Scientific words. Nobody can understand you. Okay. Come on, be simple. Okay, okay. Well, Let's make it. Well, 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 and that's not cool. Okay, good. That's not so, cool, so man. Feel that's why your game can't that with me. Instead of us trying to understand each other's vocabulary, relating to the body down. as down. opposed down. to the mind, relating to things <laughs> perceived through the senses Listen, as opposed to the, the mind. mind. Only black people you understand what I'm saying? Only black people say that. Tangible or concrete. Only black people want to tell you smaller words and they want to talk longer than the people with the bigger words. Because I use bigger words, I'm able to talk for shorter periods of time. But because the bigger words get me straight to the point. Right. We, the word physical means to... It's so tangible, he can look up a small word like physical. Now the word tangible, do you want to look up the word tangible or concrete? Uh, not at this present moment, brother. Let's get wanna, to the God, man. I'm Let's get finish, to the Son of God. I'm going to finish what I was saying. We can get to the God, but this is what I said. I finished what I was saying, and then you... Now he's trying to prove that untangible forces are physical. I don't know what he's talking about at this present moment in time. But um, I'm going to finish what I'm saying, <laughs> and then he can finish what he has to say to disprove me. The metaphysical, maybe he's talking about the metaphysical, but not the physical. Physical, the in, terms, in terms of metaphysics, the word metaphysics caters specifically to physics because there was a point where they were stuck in science at the point of classical physics, and they said anything that comes after classical physics is going to be called metaphysics, which we're still dealing with physical things. Yo, hold on, nature. We ain't got that much time, man. Yo, I want you to deal with your listen, dog right quick. Tell him I'm going to talk for three minutes, and he can talk his 10, 12 like he does. And I'll wait. Give me my three minutes, G. You can keep using as much minutes as you need. Give me my three minutes. Because this phone going to cut off. Nature, you there? Yeah, I'm there. All right. All right. I want you to break down your guard. Not yet. Let Polite get his little three minutes in, man. That's you it. ain't got no charge. You can put your phone on. You can't put your phone on the charge. No, yeah, no. And plus, I got to bounce them. But I'm going to listen to what you got to say respectfully, brother. Just hold on real quick. Now, here's the problem. And this is the biggest problem. As an example, if we was dealing with law, we have to deal with the nomenclature of law. This means a, an assortment of words that specifically cater to the interests and needs of that genre of information. There's nothing hard about hearing the meaning because if you looked at the word nomenclature, you would hear what I just was saying. So it's nothing difficult about learning big words, especially if the person's using the four or five syllable words you complain about, also expressing what they mean to represent. 
But I will not belittle my people to the right. point where I'm going to talk Google Gaga shit to and them. Where their the words time. are GPS to our reality. We need to use the right words to speak in the best terms because sometimes some words just don't cater there. So what we find in scientific theory, which is a culmination of facts that we use to arrive definitively at a conclusion, whereby theory is predicated upon guessing. It's two different things. So sometimes I talk about scientific theory, people think I'm talking about theory. And we and law, and I used to wear minority, it can render one a homo coming deus. This is an adult that thinks in an adolescent state of mind. But if I use the dictionary colloquial meaning of minority is when we talking about Okay, brother, thank you. So the problem is when we're talking about science, one instance in, in law, we see the colloquial meaning of minority meaning percentage, but then when we deal with law, we see that minority caters to the idea that is an adult thinking in an adolescent state of mind. When we deal with science, and we're talking about scientific phraseologies, understand that even when you look it up in the dictionary, <laughs> if we're talking about nature, and then they start talking about the universe, and then they start using words like force, now we have to be able to say, you know what, what's my import? They're not talking about force based on the colloquial meaning. They're talking about force based on chemistry, or based on some realm of physics. And force in physics or chemistry is the ability to do work. And then work takes on another connotation because it takes on another meaning outside of its colloquial or its most common context that most people speak in. So when having these conversations, I'm saying this to the people out there, it's very important that the person that you're building with understands the nomenclature of that which they profess to have knowledge about. Because if you're going to speak about physics, which you eventually have to get into if you're going to talk about nature and then persist to transcend the depths of nature, the least you can do is take the time out to be educated in physics so you can speak in the nomenclature of it or understand it for the same. That's all I want to say. It's not a big word issue. It's about understanding the verbiage of the genre of information that you're discussing instead of staying locked in and complaining about words. Now, the brother could talk about the God thing. I'll, I'll close out on whatever my rebuttal may be. I might agree with him. I may not agree with him. All right, I'm let gonna... him go in. Let him go in. Go ahead, Nature. You got the floor, brother. I, I, love, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love Brother Polite. You know what the words, boy? Boy, I tell you, boy. I love, I love his vocabulary, man. That, he's a wizard. This man is a wizard, man. You gotta give it up to him, man. I, I appreciate your mind, and I'm, it's an honor for me to bounce my mind off of yours, yo. You heard? Now you and see I why Pharaoh backed out of the debate, man. right? So listen. So when it comes to the sun being our God, the sun is the source of all life. That's what we are, what we're living and breathing. The sun makes our bones. We know this because of the cholesterol bill on our skin that uh, converts into uh, an unactive form of vitamin D and that is now been di digested by our uh, um, liver and kidneys and turns into an um, uh, active form of vitamin D which actually strengthens our bones. When we talk about the human anatomy, we have to realize that the human anatomy we have to look at the structure of the human anatomy. So we have to look at the bones. So we have to realize that we're crystals. We're Merkabas. We have, we have EMS fields. We're vibrating to the frequency of being solid. Meaning that we are actually not even solid. We're vibrations of what appears to be solid. And what we think is solid is not truly solid. And quantum physics shows us that. But when we look at the food that we intake, we intake it to store energy from the sun through the plant. Or as people eat meat, they eat the third party because the meat eats the plant. But the plant gets its life from the sun. The sun actually is absorbed by the plant through photosynthesis and gives it the nutrients from the ground. Also, the ground and the minerals of the, of the earth, the metals and the minerals of the earth, gives it the nutrients that that needs, which is all converted to give you the sun in a converted form. So we are the sun and the earth is the sun and the earth. And all of the planets, are different, what we call spirits. This is what we believe in our culture, and our culture. All of the planets in our solar system are spirits of the sun. 
Okay? And so the sun is the source of what we are, and it is what we are, because the sun became the earth, the sun became Mars, the sun became all of the planes of existence. We have came here consciously, through consciousness. This is how we got here. The first memory that you ever had as a child is you just it, you just popped up into this realm. You just got here. You just woke up and started responding to the stimuli. So the world is holographic, and it's being projected through our eyeballs. And, and with, you know what I'm saying? What you see is eyeballs. They're projections. They're projections. And we just logged in at the first memory that we ever had. When we logged in at this first memory that we had, we therefore started responding to the stimuli of our hologram. And no one ever asked the questions, yo, where was I before this time when we log in? Then? We go to sleep every night, we go into the darkness, and our mind, just like it does in this realm, lights up our dreams of existence. So what we have to realize is the source, the light, and, it, and I, I hate to bring the Bible up, but we wrote this shit and they, they bastardized it. But in John 1 in the Bible, it says, in the beginning was the word, which is the thought. In the beginning was the thought, and the thought was with God, and the thought was God. The same in the beginning with God, all things were made through it, and without it, nothing was made that was made. So we are thought. That's what we are. We're in a thought plane. And we are God because we are the thought that we think. So with that being understood, the source of all of our mind, all of our mind, is the light and, and is, the, is the source of, uh, of our well-being and that's what sustains our life. This is why our gods in African culture was nature, was nature, was the sun, was the moon, was, was the earth, because the earth is another form of the sun. It's all converted energy. Energy is only, this is what we say in our culture. God is energy. Life is sex. Life meaning sacred exchange of energy. Life is a constant exchange from one hydrogen atom to uh, lithium atom to, to carbon. It's all converted one energy to another form of energy. And it's all is coming from a source. And that source is the sun. And that's why we, we look at our higher self as the sun. And we are the descended version of the sun here on the earth. The earth is actually the sun. Fact. It's a form of the sun. It's not actually the sun. It's, a, it's like saying that um, that hydrogen is oxygen. Well, they're two different atoms, but they, they come from the same source. So the, the earth is vibrating to a different frequency of what the sun is. So at this frequency, the earth takes shape and form as the sun, as the earth. And then we come from the earth. You understand? We come from the earth, and everything around us is us. We are energy. That's all that we are. We transform this energy. This is, this is to understand our hologram. So when we look up in the sky and we see the source of where he comes from, that is our God. God is our sun. God is what sustains our life. The moon, everything brings balance and order. Our brothers are a form of nature, human nature, because human is, is, is God in human form. So we must love one another. If we love our God, we must love one another because the sun is everything. The breath that I'm breathing to talk to you right now, right? I'm going to break this down and I'm going to give them the mic. Now, the sun makes our bone. Our bone is the structure of our being. The bones of your body is the structure of your being. The sun converted through, uh, like I told you about the cholesterol, and from the food you eat, from the thyroid gland creates calcitrol. Calcitrol is what creates new bone in your body. So the sun actually is converted between plants, Plant life and the cholesterol on your skin and the melanin in your skin is absorbed to bring to bring you. That's what the melanin is. That's what you are. You are the sun, and so the sun meets the sun. The universe is communicating with the universe. This is why it's imperative that we don't block our skins with deodorants and our aura and our electrical magnetic field with deodorants and cover our skin up with clothes and stuff because the universe is trying to constantly contact, stay in contact with us so that we can feelize through our nerves. That we are the higher self. We are that. We have. We keep the connection. But when we disconnect by putting rubber on our shoes and all of that stuff, then we when we live a life that disconnects us from what we are, then we lose our mind and we start vibrating at a lower frequency of brain waves that make us live in what we call what is called our lower self. We're still God, but God is now a mortal being. God was an immortal being when it was connected to knowing that it was immortal and it was a spirit. But now man becomes what we call like a human and think that death is real and we fear death and we live in the lower self. So the bones make, uh, the sun makes your bones, which are crystals, and your bones make your blood. 
the inside of your, the blood, the blood in your body is made by your bone, bones, the blow, bone marrow, right? Your bone marrow makes your blood. So the bones make the all blood. Right, all right, and brother. Then we get oxygen, I got it. You got it. You got it. It's the last bit. Last bit. Let me finish. The blood makes your bo the uh, bone makes your blood, and your blood makes your breath. Because you can't have oxygen without the hemoglobin in your blood. So you, we call it the three Bs: bone, blood, breath. This is what we are: solid, liquid, and gas at the same time. We understanding the phenomena of nature. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I said God is the sun because we are the sun descended here on earth but we are the earth before we the sun it converts from the earth and then the, then we come from the earth we eat from the earth we convert the sun from the earth and now we are the sun. i don't know if he understands this but this is why we say we are the, we are our resources we thank are you, the brother. sun which is the source of our resources all right thank you brother um, that's how I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you what the problem is with these long couplets the problem is so much misinformation gets disseminated that it would take me longer than he has the patience for for me to talk to, <laughs> to dissect these. But so, I you talking to me. We should, build, we should build more. I know we. I know we about to say we about to say we should build more. We got. We got more to build on. All right. All right. He didn't cut you off though. Um, so, let him go now, Major. So the issue with this no, 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 go ahead. The issue is, if we should build again, we have to talk in shorter intervals. So we can address the things that's being said, because there's a plethora of things being said that I disagree with, that we don't have the time for right now, unfortunately. Though I can take a mental note of it, and I'll keep it in mind. Like he said, the melanin, melanin is the sun. This is totally a ridiculous thing to say. And then if I were to ask him if melanin is acidic or not, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have an answer for that, because he'd be worrying about the chess move. For if he says it's acidic or not. Because that's going to be the underlying theme to how we know melanin is not the sun. Mm. If melanin is acidic or not. We can give him that to look up. Another thing is he keeps talking about solid, liquid, and gas. Why would he not mention plasma, which is the fourth state of matter that plays an integral role to this world? He keeps saying solid, liquid, gas. So his knowledge is stopping him at solid, liquid, gas. And what, what I'm telling him about this physical world. I understand what he would like to say had he went further in studying. He wants to say, or he should say, that this world is not so much physical. It is more or less an aggregation of molecules. All right? And therefore, since it's an aggregation of molecules, it may behoove us to say it that way as opposed to saying physical. Whereby, un un unfortunately, physical is still the word. It's not in question. But a step further would be an aggregation of molecules. One, that would be an easier thing for him to say than to say nothing is here solid. Everything here is, is not physical. We're on a mental plane. No. Say an aggregation of molecules. That's one. Two, positivity and negativity. We don't want to say nothing about negativity. Let's say it's cathodic. That is the best and most appropriate term when we're talking about the energies. Then he says the food is being converted into different forms or renditions of the sun so we can sustain ourselves. Paraphrasing. It's being converted into the food. The sun is being converted into different forms for us to stay alive. Convert this we can call photosynthesis, right? And that's not the sun. That's light being synthesized. Light is being broken down for specific purposes. Like in a plant, it's information being transmitted so the plant can make food. Okay? Light is also being synthesized through the first cousin that is melanin to chlorophyll for purposes for us to also be able to relay messages from one part of our body to the next. But it's not the sun. It's the light, which is very different from when it comes from the sun to when it comes into this atmosphere that's being synthesized for purposes of us being able to facilitate on this physical plane. Okay? So here we find... Plasma is left out of, out of states of matter for whatever reason. Here we find the inability to properly address oh, or, or identify what it is that needs to be said to because <laughs> of a lack of information. And so to close out, I'm, I'm, I would look forward to a follow-up conversation about whatever or even revisit some of these themes. But what I, I gotta get y'all on my Google Hangout together. Well, That's well, it. But well, what I gotta ask for 
it has to be a time limit because I can't keep doing right. three or four minutes, five minutes, six <laughs> right. minutes to 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And I then agree. when the internal me talking, I got to get cut off. And questions have to be answered on both sides. He can't be over here asking me questions because I just asked him a question. Because I'd be thinking he getting the order of questioning wrong. You can't be demurring throughout the course of this whole conversation. Maybe you need to do it once in order to uh, properly address something you got to say. But not throughout the course of the conversation. Ask me a question because I asked you a question. We ain't going to do that. Uh, and in and, and, and the final statement, let's address this. We never got a reference for where he gets his ideas from. Every time I ask, where are you getting this from? The only thing that I can't trust is we, we can't trust the white man, but we definitely got to trust him because he's God. According to him, he's 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 woke. He's by the equator. He's living in the jungle. And if he needed anything, uh, if money was to disappear, he'd still be able to survive. Uh, that certainly wasn't the case when he was displaced in the other country where he was. The very thing that's the root of all evil, which was the root to his ability to transition from one place to the next. Mm. So I don't understand how it's the root of evil or all evil. OK, people can do wicked things. Money doesn't do wicked things. We might as well go around here blaming guns for killing people, too. We might as well turn around and say, that gun just smacked the hell out of somebody, and that $5 bill just tripped somebody. And you know what? All these inanimate objects are going crazy, wilding out on the human race, or it's the human race wilding out. Mm. Okay? Hey. So we got to really put things into proper context, because when we blame money, we evade the responsibility of being accountable ourselves as people. Okay? So we don't want to misappropriate where the energy is supposed to go. God is energy. Stop misappropriating energy. The energy of identification for who does right or wrong is in the people. The power has always been invested in the people, not the dollar, not the gun, not any other inanimate object, but the people. Let's get out of this. We never spent money stuff. I'm tired of hearing black people say it. And then when you ask them, show me the society where we didn't use money because I understand what money is. And it's a system of transference. Okay? It's bartering. It's, it's buying. It's selling. It's exchanging. There's always going to be a form of currency. And even when he said we use morality and we exchange that one thing for the other, then, then morality would be currency in his pseudo claim. It would have to also be currency. That's a trade. But I couldn't reference anything that we get out the history books because automatically it comes from the white man. But when we ask him where you get it from, he doesn't have a place. He goes to the dictionary. He doesn't have a place. No, but he can use a dictionary when it's at his leisure. But if I use it, I'm trying to use too much words, or whatever that means. I've never heard a person complain so much about words, well, black people in general. We have a tendency to complain about words when we're communicating. I don't get it. I don't get it. And the big word thing, you're using big word. No, I'm using the word you're unfamiliar with. That's it. And if I make sure while I'm speaking, I elaborate in detail why that word is being used, which I shouldn't have to do all the time. But you're making people feel insecure. I don't care who feels insecure. The goal is to teach and teach specifically to what I'm talking about. So I'm always, you've got to pick up context clues what I'm talking about. But what I also do is make sure I define as I'm going. Or I give you enough context clues. You ever learn how to read back in the days? Your parents say, what does that word mean? Read everything before and after that word. And then arrive at a conclusion to see what that word means. What's wrong with black people talking about you using big words? You can pick up most of the stuff I'm saying if you just keep up with conversation. And then you can tighten up on it if you look it up. They want to keep you in the hood. <laughs> they want to keep us in the hood. Only a, only a person looking to deceive you will tell you to keep yourself uneducated. Only a person looking to deceive you will tell you no need to start using any bigger words. And I don't read to use bigger words. The things that I read introduce me to new words. And when I get introduced to new words, I say, man, this word is easier for me to address what's going on than for me to use 20 words to talk to people like babies. I just use this one word. This word gives me where I go. I can, and that's why I'm able to say five, six, seven different things when I'm building. Because I'm, I'm able to use the word that specifically addresses that thing in particular. So salute to the brother. I'm glad we're not cursing each other out. But I really need my brother to give people more time to speak. Because this Can't is tell you still time. there, brother? I really need the brother to give me more time to speak in the future uh, because I'm not always going to be here like this. And he's telling me I'm bullying him and he's cutting me off all the time. Nature, you still there? So it was all good. But that was love. That was a lot of fun. I miss I miss doing this type he's of stuff. He's still there, but yeah. hang up. He ain't there mentally. He's, he's on a mental oh. plane. He ain't here. He on a mental plane. Nature, you still there? I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear he you. Can you hear me? I hear you. He on a mental plane. He ain't here. He on a mental plane. <laughs> You know, I, I would like to I would like to build on a better on a better time like you know what I'm saying? Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's build at a better time. We can do it yeah, yeah. very soon. I'm looking forward to it, my brother. And yo, tell me, tell, tell me like, um, that it wasn't no hard feelings in what I was saying. Like, I feel them like I don't feel no we problem. do need to, uh, we do need to, we do need to, uh, make sure that we know how to manifest money. I'm not saying that we, we don't need to know how to manifest money and make money. We do need to learn how to do that. Because right. in order, we, we, how we gonna get out of our situation without money? We, all right, nature, not, we gotta I go. Never said that. Nature, we gotta go. He so I, 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 Yo, I no. got your number. Call me later on, nature, so me and you can do something. All right, salute. See you later, my brother. See all right, that's what it is. Let's build later. Let's build later. Definitely build later. Peace. 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 Finish. At the end of the day, he has to practice.